So today I want to talk about a quote from Jim Rohn. Jim Rohn is an entrepreneur, an author, and a motivational speaker. The quote I've got from him today is, If you don't design your own life plan, chances are you'll fall into someone else's plan. And guess what they have planned for you? Not much. So I really, really like that quote because it puts all of the emphasis and responsibility on you. And that's where it should be. You are in control of your own life. So I've got a friend that's going through kind of a tough time right now. She's at a job uh, that has a probationary period of one year. And the year has come up and she didn't receive the best of news, unfortunately. And I just feel that most people are giving her condolences and telling her, keep your head up, start looking for other jobs. But I actually caught myself telling her, congratulations. It's great news. It's a good thing. So the way I look at it is that life has just given her an opportunity to live her life, not somebody else's. And I feel that most people find themselves living for someone else's goals, someone else's dreams, and not making their own goals and their own dreams. I, I can never forget my upbringing. And I, was, I worked for a pharmaceutical company, biotech company, for about eight years. And while I was there, I just, I was in that rut. I was in that rut. I wake up in the morning, go work out, go to work, do the whole nine to five thing, come home, or I would maybe go mountain biking or something, and then then go home, have dinner, watch a bunch of TV, go to bed. And the next day, I would do it all over again, ad nauseum. It was the same thing every day, and I just, I felt like I was in that rut. I felt like there's no way out, there's nothing I can do. I'm living someone else's dream, and that someone else was my boss, my boss's boss, my boss's boss's boss. It just seemed to me that, that they were living and planning their life by telling me what to do. And it's not that I didn't you know, do things that I wanted to do, but I just felt like I didn't have any control over my day. My day was being controlled by somebody else, in essence. And it was nobody's fault. It's not, it's not like I'm blaming my boss or boss's boss or any of that stuff. Because that's their job. That's what somebody else is telling them that needs to be done. And I, I don't know if they were planning their life and everything like that. But what I do know is, especially in hindsight looking back, I was not planning my life. I was waking up and doing the same thing over and over and over again because I had not planned on doing anything different. I just kind of let life happen. I didn't seize it. I didn't go after anything. Luckily though, there was one Thanksgiving I remember in 2007. I, I had been going back to school for nutrition and been interested in the health field. And I thought I was going to last for another maybe five or six months at my current job. But I went home for Thanksgiving in 2007. I just, I remember sitting at home being like, I can't go back. I can't keep doing that. I can't stay at that job. So when I got back from Thanksgiving break, I gave my two weeks notice. I know I had planned on staying there another five months or so, but I just couldn't do it. So I got lucky in that. God was basically telling me, this is what you got to do. You can't keep doing the same thing. So after that, that's when I really started to plan. That's when I needed to start to plan because I didn't have a job. So I was kind of forced into that. And that's why I was reminded of my friend who just got laid off. And I got laid off too from my, my wellness coaching position after about three and a half years of doing that. I was laid off in 2011, 2012, something like that. can't really remember. But again, I just, I was actually happy about that. I was excited when that happened. 
because it opens up so many new doors. And I felt like I was in a rut in that job too, after three and a half years. Because it wasn't me doing what I was supposed to be doing. And I'm finally getting around to doing what I'm supposed to be doing with this podcast, with the website, with the CrossFit gym. It's just a nice feeling to know that your life is your responsibility, not anybody else's. If you don't design your own life plan, chances are you'll fall into someone else's plan. And guess what they have planned for you? Not much. We can even think about this from a metaphysical standpoint in the sense that if you're not planning your life, if you don't have a three-month plan, a year plan, a five-year plan, there's a void there. There's an empty space where that plan should be. You're not striving for anything. You're not going after anything. There's that empty space. And nature abhors a vacuum. Nature doesn't like vacuum. It doesn't like empty spaces. So that space is going to be filled by something or someone. If you're going through life not thinking about what you want to do, not planning your life, something will fill that void. Somebody will make those plans for you. And if those plans don't resonate with what you're supposed to be doing, you're not going to feel very good about it. So take charge. It is your life. I'm not saying you to go and quit your job or anything like that. I just want to make sure that it's something that you are doing for you and your family. You may be in a job that you despise right now, but it's what's paying the bills for your family. Then maybe that's what you're supposed to be doing right now. But in the meantime, start planning. What do you want to do? Figure that out. If you don't know, start to plan because it's not going to be handed to you. That void, more often than not, is not going to be filled with your life plan, your your life's ambitions. You got to work for it. You got to plan it. You need to go out and you need to grab it. If you don't design your own life plan, chances are you'll fall into someone else's plan. And guess what they have planned for you? Not much. Mediocrity. Be great. Get out there and be great. 